got cheap ramen. I'm Rose Oatley, and today I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a delicious beef ramen stir fry. For my beef, I'm using two packages of flank steak. These are already cut into strips. A secret ingredient to help tenderize your beef is baking soda at one teaspoon. Add four tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. Make sure it's low sodium so you don't oversalt it. One teaspoon of minced ginger. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. The flank is a muscle used quite often, meaning it has minuscule amounts of fat. Unfortunately, this also means the flank steak is very tough. So it's important that we marinate it for one to two hours, which will help tenderize it. And you also won't get chewy meat. You'll need to chop half of an onion. I'll show you a quick way. Make sure you leave the root on one side and cut the other end off. Then you wanna slice it all the way across, but make sure that you don't cut into the root. Once sliced, cut down the middle, then start chopping away and you'll have yourself some diced onions. Chop one red bell pepper, green if you're fancy, and three cloves of garlic. We're gonna make a sauce using dark soy sauce. Now I like to use this traditionally brewed tamari. You wanna add only two tablespoons. Add two teaspoons of sesame oil, very important flavor here. For a little extra flavor, I like to go in with some sriracha sauce. We'll do one teaspoon. And just a pinch of red crushed peppers. Now if you like more of a kick, then you can add more. Now add half a cup of beef broth, one tablespoon of cornstarch, which will help thicken your sauce later. You wanna whisk until it's dissolved and set aside. Here I've got two packages of ramen that have been sitting in my pantry for a while. Now they're two different brands, it doesn't matter. All I need are the noodles. Usually it comes with that little seasoning packet, toss it, you don't need it. We've got a better sauce. I started heating my water for my noodles. In the meantime, we're gonna work on the rest. To a pan, you wanna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Add onions, peppers, and garlic. I kinda wanted a little more in here, so I went ahead and took a bag of frozen broccoli. I defrosted it in my microwave, drained it, and now I'm gonna add it in with my veggies. You wanna stir fry these for about three minutes, then place them on a plate temporarily. My water is ready, so I'm gonna add my two packages of ramen. Again, we just need the noodles. And you wanna cook these according to your package directions, which is usually about three minutes. Our noodles are ready. We're gonna take them to the sink, drain them, and rinse them in cold water. I'm gonna let these drain here in the meantime while we work on our beef. Set your pan on high heat and add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Make sure your pan gets nice and hot. Then at your beef, you should hear a nice sizzle. Spread them out so they're nice and even and they cook on each side. Now, if you're overcrowding your pan here like I am, you can go ahead and remove some and just cook them in batches. You wanna get a good sear like this. Cook them for two to three minutes on each side. Just be careful that you don't overcook them because you wanna make sure they stay nice and tender. It's better for them to be slightly pink than for you to overcook them. These are ready, so now we're ready to come back and add all our veggies in. Give it a good mix. This is already smelling so good and I don't even have the sauce in yet. Let's add our noodles and our sauce. To break up the noodles, you can use some tongs to kind of separate them. Give them a mix, making sure everything is well combined. Now I'm gonna come back and add a little more beef broth. I like to add about half a cup to a cup. Give it a good mix and let it soak in the sauce for a couple minutes. Now this is also the time when you can add salt if needed. I like to wait until the end because of all the soy sauce. Make sure to taste it first and then add more if needed. Once I plate, I like to top it off with some green onions or scallions, and you can even add some sesame seeds if you like. I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for your support. And if you can, please be sure to give me a like, comment, and share. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.